Do you think it's possible to direct die the tech? Yes, but it wouldn't. It it they, it wouldn't really do anything. It wouldn't work. You know what? Let's talk about the tech for a second. Um. No. You, uh. No. That's not it. That's not it either. Um. No. Uh, stop, Mark. Um. Sub classic Laduni. I've never seen you post before, you lurker. Yeah, man, our community is like probably the best community. Oh, dude. I'll, I'll, hang on, let's start with one one thing at a time. One thing at a time. Okay, so the problem with direct dying. I gotta fix my paint, man. This is the tech cooler. So let's say, let's say uh, this is the top. Right here, hole here, hole here, and then. The let's say this is the tech here sandwiched here Right and then let's say the bottom part that goes onto the CPU cooler goes like this My art skills are amazing dude. This, this is like grade a fucking uh, uh, Leonardo da Vinci type shit uh, And then this is your IHS, right? This is your IHS here. So the th the problem is the problem with the tech uh, design in general is if if the tech is actually turned off, like the tech itself is a piece of like what do you even what material is it? like silicon or not? It's not silicon. It's it almost feels like uh, latex. Like it's, it's like a hardened latex. It's like some weird ass fucking material, right? Ceramic. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's that's the word. Ceramic. So, so this this isn't this material isn't a thermal conductor like in itself, right? So when the tech is turned off, this doesn't like like the heat. Hang on. The heat from the IHS can't actually penetrate this material to get into where the CPU water block is. The only cooling it actually gets is this bottom plate here when this is turned off. Do you know what I mean? Does that make sense? I'm not sure if I'm explaining this correctly. But so direct dye or using liquid metal of some sort. Like, maybe liquid metal would make a difference if there was a, a transfer problem, but there isn't really. So, the problem, if you go direct die, it wouldn't do anything because there's still this layer here. Like, like you're still limited by the cooling capacity of the ceramic. Because, like, the direct die, the direct die would still just transfer all of the heat into this bottom layer here. And it, it wouldn't actually transfer anything faster here. It's all it's all bottlenecked by this piece of ceramic here. So whatever cooling capacity this ceramic has is all you're getting. Like you can't like like doing doing things to the IHS or the die wouldn't yield anything. Like it wouldn't do anything. Cause that this this isn't like the lowest the the principle of lowest hanging fruit, right? Does that make sense? It wouldn't actually do anything. All you can really do, man, I fucked this up. All you can really do, that's why I lapped it in that video, right? All you can do is make this surface perfectly flat and make this surface perfectly flat. And then that's it. Like, like then, then, then the, the, the next lowest hanging fruit is this thing. Right? Because like all the, like, 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 look how fast this thing... I'll, I'll show you right now. Hang on. Uh, so let's turn this... Let's do a light load here. Let's do... Uh, mode. Standby mode. We'll do standby mode. Okay, right? Uh, CPU, let's start this. CPU package 63 it just starts skyrocketing like look at that 
What? 71 Celsius with 150 watts, dude? Okay, so let's turn the cryo on. 80 fucking degrees, dude. It's 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 not being cooled essentially. Like it's being like it's it's like a passively cooled fucking copper plate, dude. Right? Now the temps are dropping. So look like a direct die. Like what a what a direct die might do is maybe drop this temperature faster, but it wouldn't drop the overall. Because the 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 transfer to the die would be faster, but it wouldn't actually increase the overall cooling capacity. Does that make sense? I'm not fucking doing P95 small, dude. I don't do that fucking nonsense. I uh I enjoy my I enjoy my hardware living a long good life, dude. Oh, I ordered a, I ordered a caramel macchiato and I just got to the bottom where all the sugar is. Ew. Oh, gross. Uh, that's pretty much it. I hope that makes sense, right? And check this out. 150 watts, 70. It's at 5.4 right now, right? Man, it needs a little bit more juice. Let's see. Yeah, 160. It's it's limited. I don't know if it's voltage limited or if it's limited by the PCI Express standard. Like the 150 watts per 8 pin kind of bullshit, right? Um I got to take it apart and find out. I got I got to take the damn thing apart and uh see what's up. But anyway, that's pretty much the tech. It's it's okay. It's a cool product. It's cool. Like it's cool. Like it's you know what I mean? It's It's a good concept. But I like like my initial plan was to just buy a, a water block like like the best water block you could instead of this thing, but this thing came out at the same time. So if I if I was like a viewer of mine and I saw this review, I'd have been like fuck this shit, dude. What's the point? What's the point, right? It doesn't, you, like, I can show you guys examples of it in different games and stuff. Oh, I was playing Cyberpunk with this the other day, last night. It was struggling, dude. Cyberpunk, Cyberpunk was pulling like 170 watts out of my fucking CPU. I'm like, what the fuck? I was like in uh, Night City when there was like 100 AI characters all around me. My CPU just getting pegged. I'm like 75 Celsius. I'm like, what the fuck? This thing is useless, dude. It's actually useless. It's completely useless. D'Souza, happy new year's man the issue with the tech is loss of effectiveness as it gets hot yeah dude i um i came so i was playing cyberpunk in the living room over there on my tv then after i finished i came back to my uh my pc and this whole area was just like sweating and muggy it was hot dude i it adds a lot of heat to the loop a surprising amount of heat dude so like like my strix was pumping like 700 watts into my loop because of cyberpunk and then the tech was pumping another 200 watts plus another like 200 watts of my cpu my shit was pulling like fucking 1100 watts dude it was insane that's a lot of heat for radiators dude it's a lot of heat um Yeah, I actually might need to redo my radiator setup or something, man. It's a lot of heat. I might have to get a thicker 120 mil or something like that. Like a like a triple thick 120 mil. Just to just to add a little bit more to make up for that tech. It was hot, dude. It was hot. And my fans were blasting at 100% too. It was actually insane. The tech is still really impressive. It was drawing 170 watts to cool twinner. Um, that is true. Um, that that is true. I, Intel must have done something to that tech to make it more efficient. It seems to have a, a one to one power draw to cooling ratio, which actually doesn't make any sense when it comes to a tech. It also could be the, the, the efficiency of my loop. I do have like God knows how many radiators, right? So it could be the efficiency of, uh, of my loop doing the work, but they also must have done something here. 
You know what I mean? Like, like, like the, like the fact, the fact that I was running, f like, so the fact that I was running 5.5 gigahertz around like 75 C in Warzone with the tech, I could never do that with with uh, a regular loop. Never. So that's it. it is it, it's good. It's good. Like it's. But you're also not accounting for the extra 200 watts of power that it's pulling, right? Nah. You know what I mean? Nah. Two, uh, 200 watts for 100 megahertz, right? It's cool. Like, God, I'm, I'm so conflicted on this product because of that. You know what I mean? Like, it's cool and it works. But, dude, look at all this fucking software I have to run to make this thing work, dude. I hate it. Just getting this thing to work is a shit show, dude. Like, I have to have this open while I play games to monitor my temps. I have to have this fucking cooling software installed. I have to have my my pro, my 5.4 gigahertz profile set. And then I have to load it every time I want to fucking go into Windows and shit, dude. Like, like, so I, when I went to go play Cyberpunk last night, I like turned on my computer. I'm like, oh, fuck. I'm like, I have to turn this on before my other apps load. Oh shit, I, I better fucking monitor my CPU temps and afterburner so I can see it all the time. And then it's like, oh fuck, I better load my XTU profile. Like I, I, I've only, I've only had this thing for like three days, and I already miss just being able to turn the damn thing on and going to go play. Like, I, I don't like, I don't like things that get in the way of. Uh, me enjoying my gaming experience. It's the same thing with Zen, dude. It's like this, like, like, like if I buy a 5950X and I have to spend a month tuning voltages, it, it's getting in the way of fucking gaming, dude. It's, it's getting in the way. I, I know, I know it's like a frame chasers channel and we do what we have to to get the FPS and stuff, but I draw the line at like, when things start taking away from my gaming experience, you know what I mean? That's why I never really got into VR either. Because like, even though I have like a sick fucking VR headset and I got it for Alex, I have to like take it out of the box. I have to plug in four different fucking cords. I have to move my gaming chair out of the way. It's like a process, dude. It's a, it's a fucking pilgrimage to get that thing started. And then if I do do that, if I do do that, I have to like mentally commit myself to like four or five hours of straight VR gaming to make to make to make 30 seconds of plugging it in worth it. Do you know what I mean? It's fucked, dude. I don't know. I, it might just be me. I know there's a lot of good a lot of VR connoisseurs and stuff. But dude, I just want to log into my fucking machine, throw up Overwatch and just start teabagging shitties in five seconds. Like, I don't want to have to plug in seven different cables. I don't want to have to like, oh, oh, and so like when, when I actually plug in my VR headset, I have to like go into NVIDIA control panel, remove my 4K TV, enable the fucking VR headset, change all my fucking plugs and shit and outputs. Then if I want to play Cyberpunk again, I gotta like disconnect that shit, redo all my fucking plugs in uh, NVIDIA control panel. Oh my god, dude. There should just be it like, like, god. You don't understand the fucking struggles, dude. The struggles. It's like first world problems too, because all all the things I'm talking about take about 30 seconds. You know what I mean? Like it's really not that big of a deal. But but something about it just pisses me off. Monk Jane just subbed for three months. Thanks some oh, we have to get we have to get our four month badges going here. I've been here this long. Yeah, dude, you've been here a long time, my man. You're one of the OGs for sure. Uh, thank you for resubbing, my man. I, yeah, I, um, we got, we're gonna have to get some pretty intense badges going here. Some five months and some six month ones coming up. Big thanks for getting, going into the tech and explain. Yeah, no problem, Nycrod. It's not worth it, dude. I don't know. I guess, it, I guess it's up to the in individual to, to up to the individual to see if it's worth it for them. But keep in mind, so I also have a shunted 3090 though. So keep in mind that it's not like I can, it's not like I can 
express to you guys how hot the radiators got though like like maybe i should install a temperature sensor or something i should have i should have i should have installed a temperature sensor, like a water temp sensor and then done a before and after tech thing that would have been cool i should have done that i wonder if there is a way i can do that precision is gifting five tier one subs oh my god dude why is everyone so generous today holy shit guys but like 30 fucking subs today that's insane that's actually insane hang on i gotta catch up on the chat quickly no you can't stack text like that it, it wouldn't do it I, <laughs> i'm pretty sure you were joking though I finally committed to transferring my system from a 2070 Super to a 3090. No, you have to sub to get a link, my man. We have to keep people out. With the channel, the channel, dude, the channel is getting too big. You know what's weird? I say the channel is getting too big, but we're only at 3,100 subs, but, but, like, 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 it's not, it's not 3,100, like, um, it's like 3,100 real subs, or like real, like, I don't know how the hell you, like, like not, it's not like, like, I bet Linus's Discord doesn't have any fucking P, if he, if he has one, right? But like, we have like it's getting too big to the point where people people like filtering people is becoming more difficult is what i want to say there's a lot of like like i don't know how to i don't know how to explain this hang on one second let me catch up on the chat quickly i'll explain this in a second um catching up on the chat quickly No, I can't use the quest. I need the I need the refresh rate of the index, man. I can't go below 144 hertz. It gives me a headache. Um Better to just run phase change. Yeah, but phase change? Hello, motherfucker. Phase change? Sup YFD? Phase change requires like vaselining and puttying the back of the socket and all that shit. This is literally hassle free. I, I know why they made this, right? Um, you don't have to like vaseline and putty your motherboard and shit and worry about condensation, right? That's why. So like, like, like this is this is kind of like the borderline of like dailyable and then like XOC kind of thing, right? Um, sub precision. Thanks so much for the subs, man. Um. You have a very active Discord, that's why? What do you mean active? Sup, Nani? Yeah, of course it's active. Why would it not be active, though? So, like, like, there was one guy the other day who, he made a racist comment, and then I banned him. Obviously, no racism fucking allowed. That's common sense, right? And then, um, he, like, emailed me three times saying, why did I get banned? And then he posted on my YouTube videos asking why he got banned. I'm like, I didn't respond. I'm like, you're like, I don't respond to drama. I don't have time for that shit. I just delete that shit and move on, right? But then, um, why, why is he, why are, why, do you know what, you know what the other question is? Why are people so upset and offended when they get banned? when they get banned dude i've had some like fucking death threats death threats and shit like crazy shit dude like 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 i've banned people off of youtube and shit and they'll make new accounts and like keep posting and shit like dude people are fucking crazy dude crazy dude um but why are they like that why why like 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 let's say let's say i join a linus or a jay's two cents discord 
and I get banned. Because let's let's say let's say I'm a little vulgar and I make a joke like um I don't even know. I don't know what what joke you would like. Let's say le okay, you know what's a good example? Let's say I join fucking Pokimane's Discord and I make a a joke about Twitch thoughts or something like that, right? And then I get banned. Um why would that make me angry? It was, it was clearly my fault. Like, and not not even that, but also why would why wouldn't I take that as like, oh, I guess I don't belong in that community. It's not it's not a good fit for me. Like 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 if I don't like you know you know what's interesting when I was growing up when I was growing up as like a kid and stuff. I never tried hard to fit into other groups. That seems really weird. Like, when you're in high school, there's literally a group. There's like a friends group for every single different. There's like, there's like the Nammers that are like the Asian gangsters, right? There's like the fucking goths. There's the skaters. There's the football. Like, you can insert any genre of group and you can pretty much find one that you fit into. So, if I'm a goth, I'm not going to go try and fit in with the fucking football jerks and then get upset when they make fun of me. Like... That, like, like, what, like... Am I, am I alone in this, am I alone in this train of thought? I don't understand. Like, if a person doesn't fit into the community, it like, 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 and, and I feel like people should be a little self-aware enough that they should be able to tell if they would fit in or not. But let's say, let's just say you get banned for some reason, like racism of some sort. Why wouldn't you be like, man, okay, Maybe I should join a racist discord. Like I don't fucking know like what like like there has to be I'm sure there's fucking communities for you to join out there, bro Like there has to be dude. You know what I mean? It's weird. It's so weird, dude I left the discord because people were bagging me for ragging on cyberpunk 2077 I didn't even know you were in there or left the discord man. Who was bagging on you? You're allowed to have your opinions. Too many low quality activity drowns out good posts. Oh, you mean like, yeah, okay. You mean like, you mean if you go into like a lot, okay. You mean like public, you, so you probably mean like tech support questions. These get a little out of hand a little too often, to be honest. Um, we'll, we'll get into that. There's also like the fanboy flame wars. That shit has to like get the hell out of the, di like no way, man. But like, um, uh, tech support. There, that's also why there's a paywall on the Discord, dude. There's too many, and I might have to actually just remove the 250 paywall altogether because we're actually, so I've noticed, I've noticed that like people will watch, let's say they watch the Warzone videos and they can't figure out their FPS problems. They'll pay the $250 get a discord link and then just start spamming general chat with warzone questions like bro like guys i can't figure this out like like so a they didn't read the rules they did they're not posting tech support questions in tech support b they're just they're just taking and looking for help you know what i mean fucko just subscribed for three months up man Yo, well, how's it going, dude? Welcome back. Three months, my man. Thanks so much for subbing with Prime. Prime is the shit, dude. Um, so, like... You don't have to... Classic, you don't have to sub on Twitch, dude. Just go sub on the website. It's the same thing. 250 paywall. Um... Yeah, that like like I might have to remove the 250 paywall soon, dude. People are getting a little too uh 
Like, like this, like, you know, you know, do you guys remember when the Discord, I'm not sure how long you guys have been here for, when the Discord was free, um, it was okay for the first, like, 1,000 subs, and then, like, the tech support got a little out of hand, and the, and the, and the, 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 the trolls and ideas that were coming in there to flame, fucking flame wars and shit, right? The 250 paywall worked for a while, Actually, up until now, pretty much, it's starting to get a little bad now, but the paywall worked for a long time, and then now people are just kind of paying 250 going in there and just asking tech support questions. Like, they're not, they're not participating in the fun community aspect. They're just kind of taking. Like, 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 they're taking... Two dollars and fifty. They're, they're taking way more than two fifty dollars worth of value because fucking Ty, it's in there grinding his ass off, answering all these fucking questions, dude. It's fucking ridiculous. It's ridiculous, dude. I fucking see the tech support channel. I'm like, what the fuck? Why is everyone helping all these people so much? It's insane. And and. You notice that people that ask questions in the tech support channel are always the blues. It's always the fucking people that aren't subs and shit. You know what I mean? It's always the takers. I don't know, dude. I don't know. I don't know. I've never gotten banned for anything online either, dude. Ever. Oh, no, sorry. I have once. Um, when I was, when I was first... Yeah, a good example, good example. When I first started YouTube, um, it's hard to get noticed, right? So you try different shit to try and get noticed. So uh, I did the classic fucking join someone else. Okay, you know when you first start YouTube and you start and you start watching videos on how to actually start YouTube and how to get your videos noticed, uh, uh, you get a lot of suggestions that are like join someone else's community and provide value. So I was like. Okay, I guess I'll give that a shot. So I joined, I'm not going to say who, but I joined somebody else's Discord. You guys wouldn't know who it was anyway. Small tuber. I joined somebody else's Discord, and then I pretty much did what Ty it does, where I spent all my fucking time and tech support helping people. Right? And then after about a few days of helping people in tech support, I was like... I was like, um, I have a video that I can, like, someone asked a question that was like, what do you think about this? I'm like, oh, I have a video on that one. And then I linked the video in the tech support section to, like, help that person out. I got auto-banned. Like, a bot did it for me, right? Like, a bot auto-banned me. Um, because I posted a link, uh, self-promoting in the other guy's Discord, right? But I didn't, like email the guy asking why I knew exactly fucking why I got banned dude. I'm like fuck I'm like and like all all that did for me was like okay don't join people's discords uh help and then post link that's all I, that's all I learned from that I wasn't offended like I wasn't even upset. I was just, I was, I was more upset that I, sp I wasted all that fucking time doing tech support in that fucking channel. I could have just not done that, right? That's what I was more upset about. I wasn't really, I wasn't upset that I was like not part of the guy's community. Who fucking cares? What the fuck? It's fucking weird, dude. People have a hard time dealing with rejection, getting banned triggers the shit okay but still so if remember that conversation that we were having where it was like uh universe will teach you impersonator sub with prime sub impersonator incursonator universe will teach you same lesson over and over until you learn so like if if the person so like that guy that i banned for racism if he's getting banned, like, because he knows, he knows, dude, he knows, he's not dumb. So he, in, in one of his emails, he was like, it was just a joke. 
So he, I didn't respond. I didn't say anything. But he knows exactly why he got banned. He knows the exact comment. He knows the exact time. He's not dumb, dude. You know exactly why you got banned. He's like, it was just a joke. It doesn't matter if it was, it was racist. It was racist. So you know what I mean? Um... What the so for that guy the lesson that he can learn is Don't be racist in other people's discords Create your own racist discord Like like why are you why are you emailing and spamming YouTube videos asking why you got banned just move on dude Just move the fuck on. It's really weird. It's weird. It's super weird, dude. Uh, hang on, let me catch up on the chat quickly, guys. Not everyone needs a group. Everyone, there's always a group, dude. It doesn't matter how weird you are or, like, weird. It doesn't matter what hobbies you're into, your personality. They're, dude, literally, the neckbeards playing D D and magic literally like these people are like 60 year old virgins and they still found their own community to play games with dude it doesn't matter who you are there's always a community out there for you if you get banned from one just try another one like what's the what's the problem dude later fire two uh catching up on the chat quickly hang on um tired is a stud <laughs> yeah it depends it depends though yeah no 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 monk you're right um there there's there's general questions that provide value to like like there's good there's good topics of discussion for the discord that provide value to everybody those are cool yeah of course ask those in general right then there's like the guy that pays 250 and is like here are my specs i'm getting this fps in warzone uh i did like 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 I, me, 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 I, I, I. Like, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? No one's gonna fix that shit for you for 250. Like, fuck, get the fuck out of here. You know what I mean? It's really, it's, I don't know. I, maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I should remove that 250 paywall. I don't know. I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little, I'm getting a little annoyed with the 250 because like it's not getting better it's getting worse like it before before the 250 dollar subbers used to just be cool and they wanted to just be in there because they wanted to be in there you know what i mean but now it's like they're just paying to get in there because they want to just ask questions i don't like that I don't like that. They should go somewhere else for that. There has to be other, but then the other question is, how come, how come there are no other discords they can join to ask questions? Why are they joining ours? Doesn't make it, I don't understand. I don't fucking understand.